Hello, Marley, looking good. Looking Thanks, good. Elena, you too. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Great, do you have some water? Yeah, I have, well, I have a little bit of, uh, like a tea, black tea. Okay, fantastic. I'm gonna grab a little bit of water as well. Um, yeah, yeah, while you do that, turn on the light so we have more light. Yeah, I, I know, my lighting is not the best in here. That helps at all. All right, hopefully that lighting's a little bit better there. Yeah. No. Yeah, I was even thinking at the end, if there's time left at the end, you know, having some people bring up some things they might want coaching on from us. You got two powerful life coaches on. That's right, that's right. I don't know how many people are gonna show up today, but we'll okay. do our best because you, we can always use the recording and Brock and you know send it as a as a gift, as a um, rebroadcast it, send a replay, you know, you can put it on your website, it's gonna be on my website. So um, did you get any response from the mailer? I saw what you sent out. Yeah, I sent it out. Um, I had one person that was interested on there. I posted it on my website. I posted it on Facebook last night. Um, I don't really do much on Instagram. Yeah. Um, so, but those were the main three spots, you know, getting out to my clients and then people on Facebook. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You do yeah, it's a little different, I think, because a lot of people, I've been in the therapy world for a long time, and that's how people are viewing me. So we're talking about coaching and life coaching, just a little different from a lot of my audience right now that's uh, yeah. looking at me as, you know, the therapist and divorce specialist and all that kind of stuff, which is great. That's, that's right. But uh, yeah. this, is, this is really what I love doing the most, though. This is more my passion, the coaching than the therapy, so. Yeah, it's perfect. And we'll talk about that and how... Um, and how anybody can really, um, with as long as they're willing to help others and practice active listening, can become coaches and collaborate with us, and they can be specialty in their own, in in their own um, right. Let's see who comes on, and I'll I'll help you. You know, maybe they can be real estate coaches or uh, pet parent coaches, or <laughs> and collaborate with us, and so on. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll help you. We'll make the best. Jody, hi. <laughs> I think she's working on her mic. Okay. Hi, Jody, welcome. We cannot hear you. Uh, if you want to set up the mic so that we can hear your wonderful voice as well. And I'll um, remind me to start the recording in a moment. No more start. Um, Please. Sounds good. How's my lighting? Your lighting's really good. Mine, <laughs> not so much. Yours is great though, Elena. You got the green screen and everything. <laughs> yeah, I, sh I should go back to the virtual background, actually. Those are fun. You can put anything, the moon, Venice, Dubai, whatever you like. So oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Morning, Elena. Hi, darling. Oh, good. I can hear you loud and clear. Hi, Juan. How's it going? <laughs> Hi, I'm doing well. Thank you. Sorry, I was muted. 
No problem, here you are. Thank you for joining. Happy October, everybody. We'll be starting in a moment. Grab yourself some nice water to hydrate or tea, whatever you wish. Very good. My cat is listening too. She's masterminding with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, grumpy cat. <laughs> Gillian, welcome. <laughs> Fantastic. Great. Happy Wednesday, everybody. <laughs> We'll be starting momentarily. You want me to play some music? Meantime, let's do that. Cool. All right. Um, let's give it, let's give it a couple more minutes, no more than that. People need to learn to be on time, yes? Yes. <laughs> That's a success <laughs> habit. How's the music? Nice. Good, good. You know, you can incorporate it in the PowerPoint as well now, which is even better. But, um, hi, Matt. Welcome. All right, let us know how you're doing. Let's practice with the chat. Let's, let us know one, um, what you want to de dedicate this mastermind to. Um, it can be a person or uh, a big objective you have for this month or week or even the day or maybe Q4. So who and what you want to dedicate this session to? Uh, as we give it one more moment to see if there are any latecomers. And, um, you know, I want to dedicate it to, um, to communication, just in general, improving communication. Juan and I had that conversation. Um, communication overall among, among the globe, among, uh, among people all over the globe, because I think good communication, effective communication, can solve a lot of things, peace on earth, um, a lot of disagreements, a lot of differences. So learning how to communicate with more compassion and, and just better, better communication. Aline, welcome. Aline, are you connecting uh, from San Francisco? I think I recognize you. So we'll, we'll be starting in a moment. Let us know who or what you want to dedicate today, today's mastermind to. And uh, I think you can use the chat, even if you're on the phone. So, um, so Jody says herself, okay, so be it. What about everybody else? Matthew, financial freedom. Okay, what about you, Marty? Good one. Let me think. Um, I'm just making a contribution in people's lives. Oh, great. Very nice. Perfect. All right. I think, um, I think it's okay to start, huh? What do you say? Okay. Okay. Start the recording. Ah, it's already recorded. It's already recording. Very good. Zoom is ahead of me. I love it. <laughs> keep, <laughs> keep improving. All right. So Jillian, to her growth. So um, I think you all uh, know me, but I'll introduce myself and then um, I'll introduce my co-host as well. So... All right, my name is Dr. Elena Pizzini, and I am your international coach and um, doctor in applied psychology, which these days come in handy when you think about your career, new projects, and being very effective with its execution, because a lot of people go into it 
sort of blindly without doing the research or, <laughs> or really understanding the psychology and the behavior behind it. Uh, but with a little bit of help uh, with um, figures like myself and my co-host today, then you can really thrive. So one is dedicating to have never been exposed to the power of personal <laughs> development, <laughs> dedicating to the people. Oh, very good. That's great dedication, one. Fantastic. So, so I have an Italian accent. My co-host has a different accent. I think you'll find it a lot of fun. Um, I've had the pleasure to know him now for almost a decade. Wow, <laughs> we're, uh, we're, practicing, we're practicing reverse aging, though. <laughs> We keep very busy, so uh, 10 years can go by like in a heartbeat. So he's all heart, and um, although he's extremely, extremely intelligent, has dedicated his life helping people uh, all over the world, um, starting from the East Coast, where he's locally, geographically located. And today, thanks to technology, is, expand, is expanding nationwide. He has a very specific niche, which um, for better or worse, um, is such in high demand <laughs> nowadays. He'll tell you all about it. I think you can all relate. You can all relate. And he's, he's bringing a different perspective to, um, to coaching, which you're all familiar with. And I believe, by the way, that you all our coaches inside of you have had that conversation with Jillian this weekend. So you all can be coaches in one aspect or another, or you wouldn't be here today. So let's see how to maximize the coach in you, maximize the coaches around you to, to, um, to have a better quality of life. Yes. And yes, Matthew, retire early, retire early and double your time off. So I want to introduce you, give a big round of applause to Mr. Mardi Matika. <laughs> Thank you, Elena. Yeah, it's been a pleasure to know you over the last decade and doing a lot of work with you and just uh, appreciate who you are in the world. So thank you for having me on today. Pleasure, pleasure. Fantastic. So tell us um, why you called your company Life Circles, a very catchy name and a beautiful name. Yeah, because I, I do a lot of work around relationships and a lot of work around families. So I have real specialty in divorce and separation. I do a lot of work in that area, support a lot of young people. So the name Life Circles deals with the circles of relationships we have in our life. And you know, when one of them gets broken, it's how do we kind of put that back together and start to create a new circle or go in a new direction or just rebuild the circle that we have. So that's where we came the name from uh, Life Circles, just the circles of relationships, family, friends, all the circles we have in our life. So that's where the name comes from. And uh, yeah, it's really stuck and kind of caught on over the years. So yes, yeah, I'm grateful to be on here. And um just share, you know, some things about coaching because it's one of the things I use Elena as a personal coach. I have another coach that I've just taken on recently who's an enlightenment coach. So we're going to talk about different coaches today, but this person's other individual that I've also brought on is to help me raise my consciousness. So it's an interesting kind of outside the box type of thing. But as you'll see, there's coaches for everything. It's what game are you up to in the world? And one of the things I'm really up to is growing my spirit as much as I can and growing as a human being as much as I can to be able to make a huge difference in people's lives. Fantastic. So, so I want to remind everybody that, yes, people and relationships is what makes this world better and everything go around. Everything comes from relationships, believe it or not our happiness, money, business, investments, they all come from relationships. And I never ask you this question, Marty, but um, I'm gonna put you on the spot. And of course, I know, um, I know you know the answer. So since you are a specialty uh, coach um, it, of families and especially families that may face divorce or end up facing it, how many of these, um, of these divorces could perhaps be saved and and um, or family breakups or separations and and perhaps with your work 
what is if you maybe know some statistics how many you are able to save or or some of them just just need to decommit you know uh, religion aside because it's just toxic uh, do you have more or less these statistics based on your work well i would say maybe 50 percent but a relationship is two parts there's always two people in any relationship whether it's a marriage whether it's a friendship family so there's always two people involved so number one it would take the commitment from both of them to want to make it better and number two as all relationships are based on as you pointed to earlier it's all about communication and usually when there's problems in a marriage, there's an issue in communication, an issue in showing love, an issue in not being heard, not getting in the other person's world. So if you can solve that problem, there's a good chance that they can work it out. But it depends on the individuals, but I'd say probably 50%. Sure. How many of you um, just um, on a show of hand, or you can use the chat box, have had some relationship issues to, um, to resolve in your life? And maybe how frequently, maybe you can tell us. So everything is confidential where, you know, this is a private circle of um, elite exclusive mm -hmm. circle. We all know each other. So um, it stays here. So I, I definitely do. <laughs> With business partners, life partners, family members, friends, sometimes clients too. We don't mm -hmm. see eye to eye or there is a misunderstanding and, uh, or a miscommunication. And uh, it can affect. The relation okay so i think you you all can relate right uh, fantastic and veronica welcome cheryl welcome as well all right great so um, all right i'll let you um take care of the next um the next um part Margaret. yeah perfect and one other thing is you know me and you have both been co-authors of the success from the heart on amazon really a great book so it's another way that we've kind of known each other over the years but um and there will yeah. be a surprise gift related to that at the end stay tuned everybody stay tuned. <laughs> so we're going to look at a little about life coaching today and life coaching is the general coaching world as i said earlier there's specialties you know you could have a business coach you could have a health coach you can have a relationship coach which is a lot of the work that i do working on relationships um, but in general life coaching focuses on guiding individuals to meet their goals whether it's in personal world the business world any area of life and helping the individuals figure out the problems overcoming the barriers and get to where they want to in life um, and it really helps a lot to have someone holding you accountable because left up to our own devices we get distracted we'll put it off till tomorrow and tomorrow never comes but we, as human beings we all have this kind of flaw in our design where it's very tough for human beings to accomplish a lot on their own we are social beings we need other people in our life and a life coach can be a mentor can be someone to bounce ideas off of can be an accountability partner um, very important and this is why i do it as a living have my own life coach and dr bazzini and it's made a huge difference in my own personal life just working with her i can say that my business has grown in the last six years by tenfold easily and i'm leading seminars now and just things that i never would have thought was possible but again she holds me to a higher standard than i see myself sometimes and that's one of the biggest things in coaching so and I like I can't you. pay him to say yeah. that. So enough about me. Uh, yeah, you're, so, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. So, um, so I want to say something important. I think um, it's important for, to remind our audience, you know, uh, psychology, both Marty and I come from a, back, a Western background of uh, psychology and psychology and therapy. Okay. So Coaching is different than that, it's complementary. And why are you so passionate about coaching and why do you find it much more effective in combination to therapy or um, in addition or sometimes instead of therapy, Marty? Yeah, so definitely in addition to, I think it's a great thing because coaching, we start by dealing with the present, where you are now and where you want to go in the future. So having the therapy background gives you a chance to look into the past because we all have barriers and things that have come up in our past that stop us in our present day or throw up extra barriers and hurdles. So um, the advantage of having a life coach that has a therapy background is they can also look into the past and help you overcome any barriers, any things that have developed over the years. Um, and one of the things with coaching too is I, 
I look at it as like a personal trainer in the gym. If you're really serious about getting into the gym, that personal trainer is going to push you. They're going to hold you to a higher standard. They're going to have you do things you don't think you can do, but you can do. And when you do them, you start to have breakthroughs in your life. So very, very um, just beneficial to have a, a good life coach in your life. And just sure. breaking it, yeah. Success, everybody. <laughs> yeah, success for sure. I say something here. Um, so, coaching is is one of the fastest growing industry. We'll get to it in a second. But, uh, probably the second fastest growing industry after technology nowadays. So there is enough for everybody. If you want additional e income or a side income, we'll get into that uh, for all of you. So. Um, because it's a new industry, it's not completely regulated, for better or worse. Um, then um, some, you know, some people are certified, some people are not. It doesn't really matter. To be honest, the best coaches in the world are not certified. Tony mm -hmm. Robbins, uh, Harvecker, you name them. They're all high school dropout with no formal education. So um, I'm in the process of getting an extra certification just because with... Um, I uh, International Coach Federation, by, by any stretch, um, they, their approach is different than what Marty and I use, okay? There's no right or wrong. We all, we all um, and this is the same with therapy or mentorship or, um, you know, we all have different approaches based on what we believe, our core values and our background, perhaps even educational background, in my case, it's an international background. Um, in the case of Mardi, came from a family of uh, business uh, ownership, and um, and you know, and then dedicated his life to families and children. So, so we all bring our our spin. Okay, there is no right or wrong, and uh, just do know that um, there's different school of thoughts and philosophies, and and uh, we'll, we'll explain our philosophy and why is that as well um, and how you can benefit from that. But uh, why don't we go to the next one? <laughs> yeah, so really, what is your big life goal? You know, does anyone want to type into the chat or share um, what, what are you interested in your life? Maybe what's something that you haven't reached yet that you're interested in? So sure. I'd like to have a little participation. Yes, Elena. Yeah, and I'll, I'll give mine and then uh, let's hear from everybody else. So for me, you all know that um, I have a corporation that does offer educational services such as coaching, masterminds like this one, um, educational educational um, webinars, etc. And um, I do a lot of, with corporate and entrepreneurs. And so that's already, you know, in, in the works, I have a lot of uh, junior coaches working with me that carry on all of that and certify other coaches on their turn. My big life goal, though, I think, because uh, that's already in the works and sort of um, aromatized, is um, to, work, to, to work more with uh, the nonprofit I created. And, uh, and, and I want your support, all of your support about that. I think you all heard it before, but I'm going to say it one more time. Um, I do rescue a lot of highly unadoptable animals that nobody wants that have um, behavioral issues or sometimes physical handicaps. And together with some other volunteers, there's one under my desk right now. Uh, she likes you. Uh, she, we, we do rehabilitate them. And um, I actually have a new book that's being published soon that I co-author with my veterinary cousin that, um, that use animals for, uh, for the well-being of humans as well in offices, in work offices to help with with job satisfaction, um, retention, mm, you know, anti-stress, and also in universities for your children and uh, children of the of of your of your um, relatives to help um, to help students with anxiety and test and exam anxiety and so on. So that's my big goal. It's it's a nonprofit and um, and it's and I would love all of your support. So that's. That's that, okay? How about anybody else? Yeah? Yeah. 
uh, unmute yourself or raise your hand by clicking under participants or put in the chat box, please. Let's take a couple more shares. Don't be like those monkeys. <laughs> there you go. One says financial freedom. Live to 100, being fit and healthy and enjoy great relationships with family and friends. Okay, of course, that can be more specific. Um, our coach here can give you, can give you, um, can give you a spin. <laughs> Some yeah, goals. definitely. Right. And that would be, it's almost like three goals in one, one and really amazing stuff. And, you know, that's something if you worked with a life coach, you would kind of break that down into little steps and just start looking at ways you can start creating that. But really great stuff, one. Very good. And uh, define financial freedom, okay? One, get back to us what that means because financial, the financial freedom number is different for everybody. We never found anybody who has the same number uh, as somebody else. So, uh, Matt, enhancing male relationships among men over 50. Wow, Matt, do you want to say a little something about that? Because you have an audience here. Sure. I don't have my headset. I'm just going to mute myself. Hope it'll get feedback. It's okay. um, well, I'm 51. So I, I qualify for my life goal. And, yeah. um, you know, I've, I've been in a men's group for a long time. Um, done, you know, Mankind Project, New Warrior Training. And it's just a really good bunch of guys who go deep, go wide, um, hold each other accountable. And I just find that in society and in, in Sort of white male Western society, um, there's just there's not a lot of incentive to get real and go deep. And I'm not doing anything with this officially, other than being a participant in these kinds of movements and being a, a beacon of light, sort of on an each one reach one um, movement. But um, I do find that you know I feel more comfortable with with men over 50 who will share and connect then I, then I don't. And without proselytizing, I do try to motivate others to be that way, especially when I meet men who are more inclined to hold back, I kind of advance one out there and, and usually get something going from that. And it's kind of exciting. Really awesome, Matt. That's something great. And you know, if you really wanted to take it to the next level, a suggestion might be starting your own meetup group right? Starting to create that community because it sounds like you are one of the ones that generates and gets the conversation going. If you had your own meetup group, you'd be able to start, you know, seeing how that conversation goes, being in charge of it and really making a huge difference in the world of men over 50 and creating those male relationships. Very good. Yeah. There may already be something like that on, uh, on LinkedIn groups or Facebook groups, you may want to research it, Matt. And if you can resonate with any of them, you can even start there. Then later on, you can have a spin off and have your own. Yeah, but that's great. Uh, do you have a lot of um, clients over 50, Marty? I do, I do, yes. Over 50, okay. Fantastic. All right, a anybody else wants to share? Your big dream that never ends that keeps you going to live until 120. That's right. Do your health. <laughs> okay. Maybe it'll come to you. Yeah. We... And if it comes up at all during the time, you know, just post it to the chat and we can always go back and look at it for sure. So um, different areas that coaches are used for. Number one, career. Um, I've even had some people that I've worked with in the past two individuals I can think of right now that make complete career changes. One individual was a painter and he, you know, his body was starting to break down. He's almost 50 years old and he's physically doing all this labor. And uh, one of his real passions was selling, selling, you know, kind of pr gently used kind of clothes and things like that. So he set up this whole business. Now he has two stores where he gets clothes donated to them, sells them in lower income um, 
types of areas around the country and around Philadelphia specifically. And he's just completely has changed his life and now doing what he really loves and making good money from it. So a lot of fear in making that transition because again, he painted for about 25 years and had a successful business, but he realized over time it wasn't his passion and it was starting to wear down on his body physically. So we had him go to something that was something that was always there for him, but had a lot of fear. And how do I start this up? How do I pursue this dream? And that's one of the things for sure that a life coach is great at supporting you of overcoming those fears, because we all have fears. But if you can overcome them, you can really accomplish what you want in life. So that was somebody that I did some career work with, um, that it really made a huge difference for him. And, um, Another one that I did around relationships, you know, was it was a younger guy. He was probably 30 years old, um, bachelor, but looking for somebody to get married to. So we are we started doing some work together. And this was an old trick that I, I've used even for myself and created my wife. But, you know, if you are looking for a relationship, you know, an intimate one, writing down all the qualities of that person on a piece of paper and kind of putting it out there in the universe. And you'd be surprised to see the magic that would happen. So this individual wrote down 50 qualities. This woman came into his life in the next week or two, and they've been together and have had the most amazing relationship. So a little bit of magic in there. But what's possible when you have a relationship coach as well. So just a couple of examples of different areas where coaches can make a difference for you. Fantastic. And Mardi, let me, since I know everybody here, let me give you a back, the, the industry of everybody so we can even um, make some targeted examples. So uh, Gillian is in real estate in New York. Um, Aline, I think if, Aline, if it's you, I don't see your last name, you're on your iPhone. And I'm able to unmute you, uh, but um, you may be able to unmute yourself and use the chat box. Aline is, um, is international, uh, French American, and so and she does deal with media, you know, TV, TV and communication across the globe to uh, to help with diversity, etc. Cheryl actually is um, has a nonprofit in um, in 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 wellness. To, to help um, to help prevent um, uh, catastrophes and uh, natural disasters okay and so basically wellness yeah one real estate in Florida um, platinum elite real estate in um, Nevada Matt is an executive and works with nonprofit Veronica is an entrepreneur also. Uh, she works a lot with Asia and uh, the West, or East and West, and she does a lot of import, export, and brokering deals. Okay, uh, and definitely they all have coach inside of them. And if they ever want to collaborate with us or use our resources, they can, and they can, they could be great specialty coaches. Just to to give you an idea. Okay, let's carry on. So uh, what are the benefits? I mean, there are so many benefits depending on what you wanted to take up. So really everything that you guys have shared that are big goals, if you have a really great life coach in your corner, you're going to be able to accomplish them and quicker than if you tried to do it by yourself. So having somebody that can push you beyond your perceived limits, kind of like that, that man on top of the mountain there, right? There might have been a lot of fear about it, but he probably had a mentor or even a Sherpa or someone that helped him get to the top. So that's another way that life coaching can come in and just one is give you new ideas, help you overcome barriers, hold you accountable. One of the biggest things that gets people in trouble is, you know, saying that they're going to do something and then not doing it, right? It's a basic level of integrity. And it's a lot harder sometimes to do that on our own. But if we have someone checking in on us every week, it, you really just start to get into the rhythm. Like, I got to keep my word because otherwise I'm going to have to answer to my coach and <laughs> have to deal with that. So again, it pushes you to be in action. It pushes you to overcome fears. It pushes you to overcome barriers and really create what you want in this life. Um, we all have the power to create whatever we want. And I've just seen that fear is the biggest stopper. There's this one motivational guy, Eric Thomas, I really like. And one of the quotes that he always says is, there's more dreams in the graveyard than there are being fulfilled in the world. Because a lot of people have so much fear in life that they don't take action on it. And then they're on their deathbed, like, why didn't I do this? So it, it's important to get in action and start doing it now and have someone that's going to hold your hand along the way. 
Absolutely. And if I may say, I don't know if I, oh, you all know, I'm already free and I still have four coaches, four coaches. So one is for my exercise and uh, it, she's a marathon coach. Um, one is for marketing nationally. One is for marketing internationally. So those are um, specialty coaches. And of course, there is much more work to do. And then I have an overall, an overall coach that um, just uh, oversees all, all areas of life. And I have to say, you know, the price I pay is way less than the cost of uh, not having coaches. At some point, I, re I rebelled in my life and I, you know, would want to take some time off for some, some of the coaches um, from coaching and um, really I backtracked. Um, and that's, that's usually what happens. I backtracked and then in the end, it cost me way more to to make up for the time lost and get back on track. So, so why life coaching? Um, what do you want in your life, right? What, why is it important? Because having a life coach, as I've stated a couple of times, it's really about having someone that's a partner in your life. Just like we're masterminding together on this, when you have at least two minds together, Napoleon Hill, you know, working towards the same goal, that's a mastermind. You create so many more results. So it can even just be with two people. So having a life coach is your partner in life and really good life coaches like me and Elena, we take your life on like it's ours. We, we just continue to work with you, partner with you and help you overcome everything. If we can't find answers, we go research it to make sure that we're continuing to push you in the right direction. So it's about having a partner in your life and somebody that's up to the same goals as you and wants you to get there. So very, very important. And these are some of the people that we've worked with, again, without putting names out there, but we've worked with some NFL pro bowlers, different celebrities, people in the political arena, different millionaires, CEOs, presidents, lawyers, all down the list. So a lot of these are my current clients right now. And every single one of them, no matter how successful they are, there's always an area of life to work on. So say it's the pro bowler at the top. Well, there might be issues in relationships or family with him. So maybe he's got the success from being a pro bowler, really, really worked hard on that, had his own coaches for that and became great in that. But there's usually one area of life in all of our lives that is not working as well as we want to. So I got woods. Yeah, right. Exactly. Very successful in golf relationships. Not the best. Right. So it's a good example. What of somebody. That celebrity K.A. What does K.A. mean? Oh, that's just the person's initials of a celebrity that I work with. I just didn't want to put her name out okay, there. And got kind it, of got it. All right. Yeah. And, um, and also group coaching. You can have group coaching in addition to private coaching. So for you, Matt, for, you, Matt, for instance, you know, other men, being in a group coaching with men, with other men over 50, you can even be their coach. Um, that will be, that'll be beneficial to you. So, right, as we're looking at here, really all famous athletes, celebrities, just people that are successful have coaches. I mean, Tony Robbins, who's one of my favorites and look up to him a lot, um, he has shares about all the different coaches he has. And he's one of the more successful people in the world. You know, multimillionaire, owns, I think, 32 different businesses, has several thousand employees. Uh, they all have coaches, including him. So he has people that he goes to that are his clutch coaches to help him out. And that's someone that we view is the outside like hey he's got everything going on he's got it all together but there's always things that we can work on and, and forward in this life and in fact tony has been a life coach to a lot of different presidents and different olympians so everybody could use this and it's just how committed you are to getting to your goals and really getting to the next level but all the ultra successful people or most of them give some type of shout out to their coaches, mentors, whether it's in Hollywood, whether it's somebody losing weight, whether it's someone that's ultra successful, everybody's had mentorship, especially even in the sports world, all of that. So again, just going down this road, we see that even the most successful people, and we're all successful on this mastermind, um, it, it, it's important to have some type of coach or multiple, like Elena shared, she has a couple, I have a couple. We're not hypocrites. We see how this works when we help other people and we need that in our lives as well. That's why we have multiple coaches. So, um, and Michael as well. Okay. Yeah. 
So, I mean, really the question is, are you 100% fulfilled in every area of your life? And it's kind of a trick question because I don't know anyone that's honestly ever answered yes to that, 100% fulfilled in every area of life. We could have it really great. We could have 90, 95% in a lot of areas, but there's a difference between 90 and 95% and 100%. So are you 100% fulfilled in every area of your life? Something to think about. And if you're not in an area of life, I would suggest go finding a specific specialty coach in that area um, to be able to take yourself to getting to be 100% fulfilled. That life coach can get you that extra 10% if you're at 90%. That life coach will push you to having 100%. So something Let's to think about. Here and see which, which one area uh, you can put in the question box and, and we can go first which area you're happy about that you think is already at 100 and which one hour, which, sorry, which one area you think is the weakest, is the lowest and needs to be strengthened. Just to, to get a poll here to just, to just understand. So for me, um, I, I would say actually uh, uh, health is strong and relations are pretty strong. There's always room for improvement. What needs what needs uh, help is uh, definitely uh, my career right now, especially the no the nonprofit that is stalling a little bit um, for lack of resources. So uh, one uh, time management is the one. Which one is that? Is that strong or weak? Give us the your weak and your um, and your strong. And what about you, Marty? Yes. And for me, I would say my relationships, I'm a hundred percent fulfilled in that area. My one struggling one is my mother-in-law, but I've really made that one amazing. So it, it's really a hundred percent. Now where I'm looking to grow is spirituality. So uh, that's why I've taken on a enlightenment coach, consciousness coach, whatever you want to call it, but that my spirituality is really where I want to grow. So I've decided to take someone on to kind of take me to that next level. Okay, fantastic. Um, if you want to give some tips to one offline uh, about that, uh, your in-law, he could use them, right? Sure. One. Yeah, Juan, we could definitely work. Let's connect offline, give you a couple little tips about time management, because it's crucial if you're up to big things in the world, which I feel you are. So Absolutely. And Cheryl, um, strong family, and what the weaker to work on is the career. Okay, fantastic. And um, career also needs strengthening for Jody. Okay, fantastic. What about Jillian, Matt? Um, well, Matt, Matt did put that he's happy with his career, but he's unhappy with his weight ah, loss. Okay, thanks. Right, so something around a health coach would definitely be beneficial for Matt. If Matt, he was able to you take think that make you vegan? I'm kidding. How <laughs> 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 does his facial reaction? <laughs> I like meat too much. <laughs> so, what about, I know I like to tease you um, and uh, Veronica let's see okay share I think everybody else has shared okay okay great so all is good to assess yourself every um, three months you know it's a big it's the beginning of the last quarter of the year I just redid my vision board I reassess just like we're doing right now you know, weak and strong and what needs to be prioritized. Okay, very good. Uh, Jillian, um, yeah, also. So a lot of career coaching. Yeah. yeah, a lot of career coaching seems to be uh, what, what people love right now. They're doing pretty well with the rest. Okay. Yep. And that's very specific too. So it's important to find a good life coach that can work with you on that. Cause I'm sure the careers are different for each individual and where they need some support around that. But getting a good life coach can really take you to that next level in your career for sure. And I know I, me and Elena have both done some good work with people in that regard. Well done everybody. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay. We talked a little bit about this. Is there anything else that, um, that that comes to mind that the psychotherapy your psychotherapy experience well i would definitely say yeah. that having a life coach with a therapist a background or a degree in it makes a huge difference because again it don't, like elena said earlier it doesn't matter if you're certified as much and some of the best are certified but it does help to have a therapy background because with some life coaches that don't have a therapy background it's tougher for them to figure out why you're stopped because so much happens to us when we grow up we create stories about life about people about the way we view the world where 
someone that doesn't have a therapy background might be tougher to kind of break that down. And if you could figure out a lot of these things that we've developed over the years as young kids and ways to view the world that really helped us as a kid, but doesn't help us as an adult, it helps to be able to go back into that world to produce more results in the present and the future going forward. So just gives you an extra added benefit. Fantastic. And let me uh, present uh, this particular slide that I sprang on poor Marty last minute because I saw the list of participants and I wanted to tailor it to you. Yeah. Okay, we have a question. Go for it, one. Go for it. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, so actually, I just wanted to, to make a quick comment that, um, that I'm actually really excited about this, this, uh, this, um, seminar today, this, uh, this mastermind today, because although I'm not, a, I, I don't consider, I guess maybe I am a coach to some of my agents and, but um, I've been, you know, doing personal coaching with Elena for the last 15 years. And everybody knows that I 100% credit her for keeping me sane. Um, literally for the last 15 years, every single person that I talk to, everyone in my family, everyone, you know, friends and family, they all know that, I mean, I'll just, I'm pretty open about it. But, um, but the reason that I think it's, you know, that this is so awesome is, is that I have been officially positively brainwashed, right? Like in this, um, it, with, with, with these ideas that we can get better, we can improve, we can change our circumstances, we can, right? And like Elena has helped me out a lot with that. And so like at this point, I'm 100% convinced, but still you know, I reach out to her every couple of weeks or, and, you know, we communicate and I throw out, um, you know, situations and challenges that happen to me on a weekly basis. And, uh, and, and she always gives me some fresh perspective. And so I think it's, I just want to say that this is so relevant that I don't know about everyone else on the call, but I can like a hundred percent, you know, uh, relate to all of this. And, uh, and it's, uh, I think it's just absolutely invaluable. Thank you, Juan. Really well said. Very good. Thank you, Juan. Thank you. So what I wanted to say is because you're all veterans, quote unquote, in the personal <laughs> development arena. And like Juan said, he wanted to dedicate this um, session to everybody else who perhaps has never had a, a, the fortune of having a coach, a confidant, a mentor, and have not experienced the benefits. So um, I, I have... Um, I do, if, I do group coaching and the first session is always free if you want to tell all your, all your friends and family to experience it and get some benefits. Also, Marty is going to give you a special gift in a moment. So do, do, um, do take advantage of that and spread the word because the more we help the rest of humanity, the better world, more conscious will be for our kids, the gener future generations, the the kids of our kids and so on. So what I wanted to talk to you about, because like, you know, we, we all have a book inside of us. We're all to write, whether you have written it or not yet. We all have some expertise that we could um, coach or guide, that's another word, others with, okay? So we call that specialty coaching. And that can be a great profitable addition to what you're already doing, your career, um, okay? And even if you just do one group coaching call with, let's say, for Matthew, men over, over 50 a month, okay? That's one hour of your time and, and, and you, get, you get quite a few people on, that can be a nice not only a nice um, extra cash flow, but also just think about how much fulfillment and how much, how much help you're giving to, uh, to others, you know, for, um, for, I know we tossed this idea around with uh, one and Jody, you can tell, uh, you can tell Don to do the same in Nevada, you know, uh, focusing, I still have your text, uh, one focusing, what was it on first time buyer, and what were those two ads for? Um, well, um, I'm not sure. Yeah. The first time buyers, what was it? Uh, one was first time buyer. Um, I was in San Francisco when you sent me those two ads. And this, uh, oh, you mean the, the images? Yeah, yeah. The images? 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I think they were um, um, yeah, like Instagram images for with tips for my clients. So like buyers, investors, sellers, landlords, renters. Ah uh, yes, yes. That's what it was. So mm-hmm. those are specific niches that you can use, you know. So you could have a mastermind or a group coaching or individual coaching and offer whenever you have time. Of course, mm-hmm. it shouldn't take away from your business, but it should add. Go for it. Well, actually, you know, I thought, you know, Matt's idea of, of uh, how he wants to help um, specifically men over 50, um, I, I thought actually that was a great idea, but I would be curious to know how you and, and Marty, I guess what type of, for something that's so, let's say specialized, right? So it's not just like fitness, right? Or real estate, but, but that's sort of specialized. What type of I don't know, brainstorming ideas, do you think would, um, like if you had to advise them on how to start a group and make it, um, you know, how to start a group that he could coach, that he could eventually maybe even monetize, what do you think he should do? How would you, how do you think, how would you advise him to help him get started? Are you asking Matt? Both of you guys. Yeah, both both of us. I just thought it was, it's so specialized that I thought, like, I think it's, it's a great, a great, great idea, but, um, but I think you guys will probably have a lot of insight as to how to get it started and how to get it going and right. Everything. Yeah, definitely one. And I'll even hop in just real quick, but for Matt, one of the things, if I was working with him, I would, you know, one thing is just to start to share with people in your life, what you're up to, that this is a passion of yours. Um, and start to build a meetup group, start to build a little following. If, you, if you're in a religion, sharing with people around there, families, friends, coworkers, start to share what you're up to in the world. And people will start to follow you and flock to you if they have an interest in the same type of thing. So I would say the first thing is communicating and starting to share that in the world. And then looking that, do you really wanna take off meetup group on or do you wanna maybe join some other groups and be more of a participant, but continue to forward the conversation? So we have to look with Matt about which kind of role he wants to take to take that to the next level. But that would be some of the areas, Juan, that I would start with him on. Elena, would you add something in there? Sure. Was that helpful, Matt? Sorry, it took me time to unmute. Yeah, I think that's very helpful. I mean, it's a different perspective. Right now, I'm in a men's group and I'm part of Mankind Project Circles, but only as a participant. If I shift to the lens of specialty coach, whether I'm trying to monetize it or not, because sometimes monetizing a passion can cheapen it. If I shift to the lens of specialty coach, then I'm in the the role of trying to perpetuate and grow this thing I I like to do naturally. So it's an interesting perspective. Thank you. Yeah, and I think anyone can really be a specialty coach in the areas that you're 100% fulfilled in. You have something going on in that world that you know what you're doing if you're 100% fulfilled, and you can always share that knowledge with people in either charge or not. And plus, it sounds like most of us have been through a lot of self-development, personal development. You learn a lot in these courses about how to coach other people because we're coaching ourselves and working on ourselves. So as Elaine is saying, if there's something you're 100% fulfilled in, you could definitely be a specialty coach in there. And it would just take you sharing with people in your life and see if anyone's interested. And you get one or two people interested and you start to build from there. It's something you could do as a part-time kind of hobby or passion. But I just really think it's a, it's a great slide that you threw in there, Elena, too. Fun. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And good job. Yeah, well, you inspire me. So um, Jody here is saying, what about, she's a cancer survivor. What is, in, in, I know this is actually huge. I think that's fantastic. She's proposing inspiring other cancer patients to just, to just continue on and be strong and continue thinking positive, mind over matter. You've done it. It worked for you. So you've earned the right and you can absolutely do it. You want to say a little something about it, darling? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. If, if you are someone that survived cancer, you can definitely coach people or help people out that are in the world of dealing with their cancer because you're someone that's been through it. Whatever you did worked. So you have some knowledge about it that you could really share with other people and be a huge contribution to their life. It will be 15 years in December. Wow. Breast cancer. Amazing. Congratulations. That's amazing. Great. So that's my passion is to help others. Let's make it happen, Jody. We got yep. 
coaching and make it happen. And what about anybody else? What could you um, collaborate with people like Marty and I to, to, um, to build your side, side business coaching? Go for it, whomever, unmute yourself. I think one thing to think about is nonprofit. There's a lot of people out there who are frustrated in their careers who I nonprofit as the promised land. And there is a lot of promise. There's also some peril. But I think that trying to bridge from for-profit to, I'll, I'll call it mission-driven because nonprofit's just a tax code, bridging from for-profit to mission-driven work is usually some of the most fulfilling change and transition someone can go through. But if you're in one sector and you don't know how to break into the other sector, I think the barriers can seem overwhelming. So I think bridging the gap to mission-driven works another opportunity. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Matthew, you have to get a new headset for next time, okay? Because uh, we value your opinion. And, and then you're going to start this. So you're going to need a, a good headset also for all these other groups you're going to start. Okay? Deal. All right. What about anybody else who wants to share? Uh, Cheryl, Veronica, Aline, Jillian, all our ladies. There's, don't be shy. How... how and I know Jillian, you know, we talked about it. So I know she's getting ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have a strong uh, medical background. I, mean, I am a real estate agent now, but I have a strong medical background. And health interests me. I guess I'll never get away from it. And more so, as I was telling Elena, I, I noticed um, talking, getting in contact with some old friends from years ago. How many people have like diabetes now? So that has piqued me to do research uh, as far as um, our diet, how it's contributing to it, and you know, starting off from there. I have to overcome shyness. Oh, wow. You're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. Just smile. You have one of the best smiles. <laughs> And, <laughs> yes, and uh, do you want to say something about going most mostly plant based? How that affected your life, Julian? Uh, yes, I am. Without my influence, without my influence. <laughs> <laughs> Listening and talking, um, it did happen. My sister um, had developed uh, breast cancer, and I actually started out with her to get again with the medical background. I'm going to get her healthy in this, and in the interim. I became vegan and she still is a carnivore. <laughs> so, but I see a lot uh, with changing your lifestyle and whatnot. You know, I just, I just see, I had some abnormal labs. I changed the way I eat. My labs went away because I didn't want pills. You know, working, you know, in nursing field, I know I have a lot of friends who are uh, pharmaceutical reps. I won't call them drug reps. <laughs> so Fantastic. that's where I'm heading. <laughs> Very good. Go for it. Okay. And Jody is suggesting, thank you, Jody, great resource, Toastmasters for you, uh, Jillian, to practice the shyness. And uh, it's a nonprofit. It's everywhere. Um, I'm sure New York City has a ton of chapters, Toastmasters. So pick, pick, you can visit them for free and then pick one that you resonate with the most, okay? They'll help you for free with your public speaking yeah. abilities and yeah. and all that. Fabulous. All right. Michael, uh, sorry, um, Mardi, um, go and present the gift. yeah so here's a couple of gifts and again i do a lot of work around relationships and even working with young people and divorce and the impact on their worlds because i grew up in that world so it's definitely a passion of mine to help out young people in that situation even the parents that are struggling so um if you are interested in getting some free gifts from me, um, you can go to my website, life-circles.com, uh, fill out the contact form, and I will get back to you and send you. We have ebooks of the top five warning signs to notice in a young person suffering, the top three critical mistakes parents of young people make. Um, I believe Elena has an ebook copy of our book, which I will get off of her. We could get that sent over to you. Um, and then a free 15 minute consultation with me to find out if it's something I can help you out with or anyone in your life, like Elena, same with me. I'd like doing the first, uh, session or consultation free to see if there's a chemistry because 
I won't be the right person for everybody, but I can help a lot of people out. And it's important you have a chemistry with your coach and a trust in them and a belief in them. So it's always important to have a free consultation and see if I'm the right fit for you. So those are a bunch of the free gifts and the affiliate commissions. Do you want to say something about that, Elena? Yes. yes. So um, I have a formal affiliate program. Uh, just sign up on you've got the power.com under resources. It pays up to 35%. So take advantage any of your loved ones or partners you send over. You make some nice, it's our way to say thank you to you. And Mardi is going to start with his affiliate soon. He'll send you his link as well. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Very good. And you all should have an affiliate. Uh, <laughs> you are in business. You all need an affiliate in a, an affiliate program. Okay. We can help you with that. What happened? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that your vision board right there? You give yes, it a little yes, yes, yes. So much for privacy, but I'm an open. Board. It looks good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad I make you laugh. So, any. Um, we still have uh, five minutes. So maybe this uh, presentation sparked some idea, questions, anything you want to share. Um, use us. Uh, we're still here for you uh, for a moment. Yes. And anything that's kind of sparked an idea in you, share it now because then you're putting it out to the power of the mastermind and the universe will start working behind you to make it happen. So very important that we communicate that. So if there is anything that's sparked in you or that you'd like to take on based off of this webinar, now would be a great time to just kind of put it out there for all of us and we will support you in it, the power of the mastermind. Affiliate, great. Wonderful. Or perhaps um, you can share uh, one word of how you feel right now after um, after we brainwashed you a little bit for more success. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Positive um, brainwashing, right? As Juan was saying. <laughs> Cheryl, uh, blessed. Okay, Matt, fulfilled. Okay, Cheryl is gonna work on the affiliate. Okay, Cheryl, we're gonna work on that. Great. And, and Jody, awesome, very nice. All right, so you wanna share also one action that as a result of uh, this mastermind you would like support with or you're gonna take? So Mardi and I can hold you to it. Yes. One, 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 just one, one bonus action. And you putting that out there, there will be power around it. So now it's the time to put it out there to share and get it out there in the world. Great, great. So, and, um, and for me, this is my action that uh, Mardi and, and all of you are going to hold me to it is, um, yeah, I'm, um, I think I drove my last grand rider crazy for better or worse. So she quit. And so <laughs> I'm going to put an ad for it for a new, for a new nonprofit, um, Grant Ryder and uh, Matt, I could use your help if you have um, if you have uh, any um, referrals for me. Okay, perfect. Um, <laughs> thank you, Matt. His actions is be authentic with men over fifty and yeah. men under fifty. Okay, <laughs> okay, sounds good. What does authentic mean to you, Matt? Um, you know, it's about telling the truth and about being real and being vulnerable. Very nice, very nice. I know it's not easy for men to do so, uh, and for women too, especially um, business women like myself and you, but it, it's important, um, it's really important to be vulnerable to, to grow in life and grow in relationships. Beauty, great reminder, Matt. Handsome reminder. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else, one action you like to take on or get support with, you can share and then um, we let you off the hook for a great month, Halloween and quarter. <laughs> and you can always reach out to us um, and I'll give uh, here, I'll give uh, Mardi, um, Mardi a website again, life-circles.com. And uh, Jody says, talk to other survivors since this, this is Breast Cancer Month. Ah, it's Breast Cancer Awareness, huh? That's great. 
yeah yeah well she um well maybe jody can um can um buddy up with um with one's wife i hope you don't mind me saying it one melissa who's uh how young and how many times breast cancer survivor uh, my wife is a three-time breast cancer survivor, oh, wow. and she was originally diagnosed at 28, and she is 34 now. I was diagnosed at 37, four days before, well, I figure I was diagnosed at 37, and I had my surgery four days before I turned 38 in December. Wow. Okay. I'm going to let her know that I spoke with you. 15 years. Rock on. Awesome. <laughs> Wonderful. Yep, yep. Good. That's the power of the mastermind right there as well, just connecting people that may have a similar mission in life. So it sounds, sounds pretty great. Awesome. Wonderful. Cheryl, um, any action for you or any awareness? Veronica? Oh, I think Cheryl put joint Toastmasters, a very specific action that will definitely make a difference for you, Cheryl, for sure. Very good. And Veronica, what is thinking time? You're going to do some strategizing? Yeah? Okay, great, wonderful. Okay, Marty, you close it with some power, powerful. Yeah, so one thing I, 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 this can be, a, I heard this in actually one of my peaks training a long time ago, but you know, every minute we're a minute closer to our own death. So when you think about that, what are we waiting for? Let's get moving in our life and let's go for our dreams. Every day we wait is another minute that we're losing in this lifetime. We may get 100 years if we're lucky, and that goes by in a blink of an eye. My daughter just turned seven today, and I, it was like seven years went by in nothing from being this baby to where she is today. So just remember to get moving now. Tomorrow never comes. So just get moving on your goals and dreams now. You'll have nothing to regret. Leave it all out there on the floor. Give 150%. And then when that day comes, you'll have left everything out and you'll be as fulfilled as you can be. That's what I'd leave everyone with. The power of now. You're loved, my friends. Have a fantastic week and we will be in touch. Thank you, everybody. Ciao. Yeah. Much love. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.